make the problems of segregation and racial discrimination the issue, I should say, visible. And I want to thank each and every one of you for being here. Well, never ever to forget the children soldier to make them visible. A few short years ago, I had an opportunity to travel to Somalia. And I saw hundreds of young men back in 1992, soldiers with guns, children, children to be in school, steady, learning, not fighting wars. And we should put an end to all wars, and there won't be a war Amen. for soldiers, young soldiers. Yeah! 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 My is, war is obsolete, and it shouldn't be used as a tool of any country, foreign policy, or domestic policy. It is time for us to stop the killing, whether in Africa or in the Middle East, in Central or South America, or any place in the world. I thank you for marching for foul child soldiers. A few short years ago, and I had all of my hair, <laughs> a few pounds later, I participated in several marches. I got arrested and went to jail 40 times, and a few days from now, on Monday, several members of Congress are going to the Sudanese embassy and we're going to protest and we're probably going to get arrested there on Monday morning in Washington. So I each and every one of you, never ever give up. Never ever give in. Keep pushing, keep pulling, and keep fighting and make all Americans and people around the world aware of what has happened to many, many children, just children, babies, they shouldn't be forced to fight all men war. It is time for us to put an end to war and create a world community at peace with itself. It is time for us to lay down the instruments and tools of violence in Africa, in the Middle East, in Eastern Europe in Central and South America, but all over the world and here in America. Just too many people with too many guns. They're killing our children yes. all over the world. Yes. Let's stop it. Yes. And we can be a part of that. Thank you for being here. <laughs>